The one day of my life that people always ask about was D-Day, June 6, 1944, when I was Life's London picture editor and had six photographers assigned to D-Day to cover what became known as D-Day, one of the, uh, the most crucial days in modern history. Robert Kappa volunteered to go in with the first wave on the beach, which was codenamed Omaha in Normandy. And I waited all day Tuesday to hear from Kappa, <clears throat> And all day Wednesday, uh, anxiously awaiting the first pictures of the Allied landing. Uh, only one had come from another photographer who had barely gotten his feet wet and gone back to England. And the whole world was waiting for Kappa's D-Day pictures. Finally, late Wednesday afternoon, I got a call. Kappa's film is on the way. And shortly after six o'clock, a, a courier arrived from the beach with a packet addressed, and Bob, in a note, handwritten note, Bob wrote, John, the action is all in four rolls of 35 millimeter. So I, I told the darkroom to rush, rush development so I could have contacts for editing. A few minutes later, an almost hysterical young lad named Dennis Banks came rushing into my office saying, John, the films are ruined. I said, what do you mean? He said, you were in such a hurry that I put them in the, in the locker to dry, which was normal, but closed the doors and there was too much heat and the emulsion ran. So, oh my God, so I ran back to the dark room with him and looked up and there was nothing on the, th on the f three of those four rolls, but on the fourth there were four discernible images. And those were the ones that became famous. I was so glad when this little book was finally published in France on the 60th anniversary of D-Day because it has every one of those 11 images, the best account uh, of, of D-Day in a, in, a, in a nutshell. I'm so glad that this finally appeared. Bob Kappa himself never accused me. I was the person responsible, actually, for life's D-Day operation. And I used to feel terrible about losing those other roles of film, but I finally took, took pride in having saved the ones that still exist.